Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mitchell Losi, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use multicam editing in Premiere Pro when you have split up clips. I will also show you how to easily color grade your footage in the multicam sequence once you're done editing it. So be sure to stick to the end so that you don't miss that. This is something you might run into if you film a lot of live events such as weddings or I don't know, concerts, anything like that where you have multiple angles and one of your angles is split into like separate clips during that time that you were wanting to record. So let me just show you what I mean. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I have a project example from, it was a speech at a wedding from a maid of honor. So I have my A7 III footage that is split up into different clips during the speech. I have my A6400, which was on a tripod, and that was just one long clip during the speech. And then I also have the audio from the DJ booth that I hooked into with my task cam. So first things first, we need to sync all this up on a timeline because if this A7 clip was just all one clip, then you could just do it like a normal multi-cam editing thing where you put your camera angle clips into a folder with your audio and then you make your multi-cam like that, like I'll show you in a minute. Um, but since the A7 III is split into several clips during that time, we have to do it this way. So this is how you kind of solve that. So we'll start my A6400 clip. We're gonna bring that onto the timeline. That's my one long clip from the whole speech. We're gonna take the A7 III clips we can just drag those on here. Bloop. All right. I'll fix that. And then we just need our audio. And we just need to get the in and out point there. All right. So there's everything. Um, let me just label this so you can tell the difference. There we go. All right. So first things first. We need to synchronize our audio with our clips. You're gonna select both of them. You can hold shift click the second one to get them both selected. Right click, synchronize. We're gonna sync it to the audio. Hit okay. Premiere Pro will sync them up. Um, this one is not quite at the right spot, so we're just gonna drag that over to get those lined up. And we're gonna do the same thing with our second angle. I'm gonna bring these down to this layer. We're gonna get that. Right click, synchronize, okay. Right click, synchronize, okay. And then if you have your one clip, like this one we have our my A6400 clip um, and my audio synced up already. If you know that this part is further down, you wanna, whichever one is closer to the front of the timeline is gonna get moved back. So just a little tip there for that. All right, so all of our clips are synchronized in time. I'm going to, my A7 III was in 1080p and my A6400 was 4K. So to get them to have the right frame size, we just need to select all of the A7 III clips, right click, set to frame size. Now those are all in the same spot. They're lined up and they're in their correct time. So what we need to do now is we need to fill these gaps in between these clips here. So what I'm gonna do is we are gonna come over to our project panel New item, we're gonna make black video and it can be 4K because that's what our sequence is. And then we just need to drag that up here to the front of our first clips here. And then we can just drag that to the end. We're gonna select this second layer, hold shift on your keyboard, click it, drag it up. That will kind of overwrite that black video where there's already video. We can bring that back down. So now we have the correct start for those clips um, and everything's lined up in time so it can't get out of place basically. Um, now what we need to do is we can come over and make, let me close all these up. There it is. We need to make a new bin. I'm gonna call it multi-cam. All right, and then inside that we're gonna do a new sequence. And this is gonna be a 4K sequence, so the red folder here. HD 4K, 23.976 for the frame rate. We hit OK, and then I'm gonna rename that to camera one, because that's my first angle. <clears throat> and then we can just copy that into that folder again. Rename that to camera two. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to this sequence that we have synced up. We're gonna take our first video clip, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna go back to that camera one, 
paste it, open up the camera two, grab our second layer, bring it into camera two, and we need to make sure these are all the way lined up to the front, which it is here. That is two. All right, so our footage, video clips are lined up. We can grab this audio from up here. If you double click that, it'll open it in the source and you can just double check that the in and out points are correct, which it should be. And then we're gonna drag that into the folder too. So now we have one folder with both camera angles in it and our audio. So now what we can do is we can right click that folder. We're gonna hit create multi-cam source sequence. Um, you can rename it to whatever you want. So if you wanna do it like made of honor speech, doesn't super matter. Um, the important part here is you want to have it the synchronize point at endpoints because we have everything lined to the beginning of those sequences. It's gonna line it up based on that. So that's what we want. And then we don't really need to change anything else except for this audio channel preset. You wanna make sure that's on mono. Um, I've left it on stereo before and it gets messed up where it's only in like the left ear channel. So just make sure that that's on mono since our audio is mono anyway. And then we're gonna hit okay. What that does is it's gonna create this process clips folder, which has those different items we had in the multicam folder. And then there's also gonna be this camera one of, it's basically a source clip for the multicam. So we need to right click that and we're going to hit new sequence from clip. And this is gonna be our actual made of honor multicam for the speech. So I'm just gonna do that, rename that there. And that's what this is right here. So what we can do now is edit it like it's any other multicam. So to do that, we need to toggle the multicam view up here in the program window, and that will turn on the multicam. Now we can watch it back, and with the keyboard numbers on your keyboard, you can use the one, two, and threes at the top of your keyboard to switch between while you're watching it back to switch the angles, and that's gonna create those edits as it's playing back. So you can just sit back, watch it, switch it for the good parts, and then when you're done, hit stop, or a space to, to stop the playback. It'll add those edits. And then if you need to undo that, you can just do Control Z, it'll undo it. Um, if you need to move them around, if you like missed, you can get the rolling edit tool and you can just drag those edits back and forth to the right spots. So it's super easy way to edit from there. So that's pretty much all you need to do to be able to edit the multicam with those split up clips. Cause as you see the second source will disappear in here. Yep, so it'll disappear where I had gaps in that footage. So there you go, that's all you gotta do. And then for color grading it, like I mentioned, what you can do to make it really easy instead of individually color grading all the things afterwards, if you go back to these source sequences here from the camera one and the camera two, what you can do is if you go and make an adjustment layer, drag that onto your clips, you can color grade right in this, and it's linked to that multicam sequence. So anything you do in this timeline will re be reflected in the multicam timeline. So for example, let me just switch to my color tab here, and I'm going to just change this so you can see that that is the case. We're just gonna make it blue and overexposed just for fun. And then if I come back to this clip here, you'll see that that camera changes with whatever I do to it. So that's all you gotta do. That's how you can color grade really fast and edit really fast for any sort of live event, multicam things where you have split up clips. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. If this video helped you out, please give it a like so I know that it was actually helpful. And if you really like this video and wanna see more videos like it, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you get notified when I post my latest videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.